Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on Middleburg with Grover Games. So over the winter months, I didn't do too much. I made a lot of investments. We ended up selling all our corn just so we can keep our our moonshine a little bit. Still a little bit of a secret. We are sitting on a lot of moonshine right now to sell, but I kind of want to hang on to it for a little bit longer yet, just because... We will sell it here eventually, just so we could get some of our equipment maintenance stuff taken care of and such. And I think over the summer here, we're going to start taking care of, taking out some of these trees and such. To kind of put up a few extra buildings around here, so to speak. But over this winter, I invested, a, invested it into some birds for us. Looks like they could actually use a little feed here. But I just bought a bunch of chicks here. As you can tell, they're only a couple months old right now. Yeah, three months old, so I figure once they get up to six months, we'll look into buying a rooster, maybe, perhaps. We might sit on 60 birds for a little while, just because we don't have a whole lot of feed here stored for them. But we're more than likely going to be working on that as well. And I, as you can tell, probably from the screenshot as well, we also invested into some cattle. So I bought us a livestock trailer there. Had to buy a brand new, didn't, couldn't find a used one. And I unloaded one of our loads of hay and fed to our livestock. They're, so they're going to be good for a while. They're starting to produce slurry and such. Actually, I wonder. And it looks like they're about... They're already starting to... They're already pregnant, pregnant so they're already starting to... Starting to get some calves produced for us. We'll just hop the fence here. And I decided to go with limousines this time. This time. It looks like she's... Yeah, and the... Models for them are a little bit janky out here on the pasture, but I still like this pasture setup, though. But right now, so we got them out here. We got only six head. That's all we could really afford just to keep enough money in play. And as you can tell, I've also bought a new tractor weight, rear weight for the tractor, just because this bucket was apparently a lot of weight, especially when it's filled. It's a 2,000 liter bucket, which I know is kind of big. Big for a tractor wise, but we bought a bigger tractor wig, so that set us back some money as well. And I already went ahead and bought all our seed and fertilizer we're going to be needing for the season. And right now we're going to go get the birds topped off here. With some feed here, so we'll get this taken care of. Our moonshine still is currently shut off. We spent most of the winter just producing moonshine, so we're sitting... Pretty good there, and I also was able to find an old bucket for us. And I, I didn't realize this was on the mod hub, but it's kind of a cool style bucket, so we can, oh, we can fold basically, put bale spears on it. So when we decide to ever get a big, a big, bigger baler or big square baler or big round baler, we'll have a way to move bales for a little bit without having to buy any bales, without having to buy a bale spear for a while. But we're going to put those away. And it's kind of neat because they also store right there on the bucket. I thought that was a really cool find there. So we're going to put this away for now. So what I plant... So I've been going through my head how I want to handle the crop situation. And we're going to be doing corn, soybeans, and sorghum. Now the reason we're going to be doing sorghum is because I was looking at our time frame for planting barley for feed for everything. And it's going to be right in that period where we, where we're going to be wanting to do it, so to speak, to get stuff re-sown again. So sort if we get sorghum planted right away today, we'll be able to harvest in August and go out there and drill, drill right into it afterwards. So we're actually going to put the 1486 on the drill. And as you can tell here, we got our fertilizer and seed all stored away in the shed for now. We still need to look into buying another piece of tillage equipment for when we have to plow up our ground. And I'm just going to leave the duels on the, the 1486 for now. No real reason to get rid of them. Or take them off, I should say, not get rid of them. Get the truck out of the way here. And the one thing... I did, Like I said, I sold our corn and sunflower seeds off. I also bought a fuel barrel back there. And got our... Got our barrel filled up here a little bit. I'm not going to fill the semi here. We'll just fill the semi sometime when we're hauling grain in, but we won't be hauling in any for a while. I only filled it up a little bit, not too much, just because I didn't know for sure how much... Oh, 
how much fuel we'll be going through this season, but we're gonna we're gonna hook the seven thousand up to the Kenzie. Because we're gonna get started planting corn today as well here. I figure I figured that we're gonna get the few outside passes done of sorghum. We're gonna plant it in the sunflower field. And then we're gonna plant the corn way out back where we had our wheat field it was. Yeah, it was wheat field. But we're gonna get this filled up with fertilizer. And the one mistake I accidentally made is that I accidentally bought an extra barrel of fertilizer there, as you can tell, sitting in the back. Get the boxes filled up with seed as well. So I accidentally bought an extra barrel, extra liquid fertilizer, so I decided whatever... We're gonna go through all our dry fertilizer, and then we're gonna... Whatever we have left to fertilize for the sorghum, since we're gonna be drilling it into the ground with our John Deere drill back here. I should have moved it. I wasn't thinking I should have moved that well, that spreader out as well. But that's fine. But we're going to be... Oh, I keep losing my train of thought right now. So we're going to be putting this... So we're going to be using whatever we have left. To, so whatever we don't get fertilized... We're going to go out there with the sprayer and fertilize the rest with the liquid fertilizer just so we can get that used up as well. Just because I don't... I know I could buy... We could sit on it for a while, but I'd much rather get get it all used up if possible. But right now, I think later on this se year... Please, by, right by there. I'm a tight fit. So let's get the sorghum seed set up. But like I said, the plan right now is that we're going to get all our dry fertilizer used up and then whatever we have to left to fertilize out there for the sorghum field, we're going to just plan on using our liquid fertilizer and using our little sprayer to get that done. So we'll have quite a bit of stuff to do. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish filling this up. I think, I think we should be able to do the whole field on this. All this load of... Oh geez, this is really struggling. There we go. I just wonder if it's just not okay. I wonder if the auto, if it's just not shifting quite correctly automatically since we're still using the automatic setup here. But right now we're gonna head out here. We're gonna get the three, three or four passes around the field done. We're gonna put, like I said, we're gonna put the sorghum right out here to the left side of the field. Looks like our wheat's coming along pretty well over this winter. The winter months were actually pretty brutal for snow. Like, the most brutal I've seen in the gameplay series, so to speak. And I wonder if it's part of the geo that we're in. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on, 1486. You can handle this. Just gotta get, get to rolling. So we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this field started, and then we'll hire a helper to t continue to take care of it for us. And then we'll we'll hop into the seven thousand, and we're gonna test out that eight row Kenzie planter. I have actually not tested it out yet. I know I've used uh, oh I've used the six row in the, in my uh, oh Elm Creek series, and I really like that six row, but. We're going to be doing 15 inch rows beans on this series, so that's that's what we're going to be using to plant all our soybeans and corn for quite a while. And I think that's when we just finally decide to go to a bigger planter, that's what we're going to stick with is this 15 inch row beans and doing 30 inch row corn. corn. And I th I'm thinking right now, since we're starting to invest into some cattle, I think we're going to put up another shed for storage storing equipment and such eventually on the farm so like I said I think this oh I think this sees kind of weird none of the weeds are or is it just being goofy as I say not not all the weeds are getting tilled under so to speak as we're planting here oh uh, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out here eventually but I think we're gonna be taking out some of the trees out and then we're gonna get prepared to maybe put up a shed within this next year hopefully and we're gonna 
We're gonna invest into a chopper, because at the date of this recording, uh, JMF got his oh bagging mod kind of all sorted out for the most part. That it should be working right. I haven't tested it myself, and I should really test it with a modded bucket just to make sure it works. But I'm planning for us to do si bagging silage on this series, just because it'll be easier for us to store. We won't have to worry about putting up a silo, and I we're not gonna. We're not going to have enough cattle to warrant for a while to warrant putting up a big silo and just filling it part way to keep them happy. And we're going to jump into mixing TMR at some point. I'm ha I'll have to see if I can find an older style of TMR wagon for the series as well. Just because I, I just, it's just what I prefer is the best way to put it right now. It's, there's a bunch of good TMR wagons and I need one to kind of fit my my style of equipment, so to speak, as well as the other thing. Um, let's back up here. We're gonna... We'll be jumping back and forth between these tractors quite a bit. But I suppose we don't have... I don't think we have too much dry fertilizer left over for this, so it won't take long for us to burn through it. I think, honestly, when we get, get done with these outside passes... Still find it weird that we're kind of leaving weeds behind, but we're planning to we're planning to just use the sprayer to take care of all that stuff as well. So it won't be that big of a deal for us. We'll have to probably work on that in the next couple months as well. Cause right now, like I said, we're planning to. And I don't think the corn will be too terribly tall. That should be an issue either, because we'll have to spray the corn down as well, especially with us going no-till. One thing I forgot to mention as well is that I found out that our, our environmental score number right now is actually, when I went to sell all our products, we actually were technically losing like a few hundred dollars because of our envir environmental score being so low right now. So apparently like when you get to the about a 46 average for the score is when you start losing, start losing a little bit of money for not taking the proper precautions for the land, apparently. So, which is kind of interesting to find out. So, with the, with us starting out the way we are, we actually kind of put ourselves at another disadvantage as well, just because we inherit, we basically inherited all this ground and equipment, and uh, clearly the farmer who sold all who gave us everything and sold this to us did not take care of their it's not taking care of their ground quite like they should as we are now i figure with at least us lot doing the soil sampling would give us a few good points at least but apparently that's that's not good enough apparently to to everyone around here so we're gonna have to make sure we really step up here and take care of things as we should be but right now, I think we're going to jump into the time lapse here. I don't know if this is going to take us two days to get this all hammered out because this drill is pretty small compared to our one we had in No Man's Land, especially after the update because that one's actually quite a bit li larger now. But I I just wanted to take get a chance to use this drill just because ne I never had the opportunity to. So I think this series was going was gonna to be the perfect fit. And like I said, later on down the season, we'll we'll sell some more of our moonshine off. In fact, that's probably going to bring us about 14 grand as well again, I'm guessing, when we sell it off. Just because we really can't afford to wait to sell it off. So we're going to finally jump into the time lapse here. We're going to see how far we get today. And we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. It's a little bit of a shorter recording session. I did not expect us to actually pot, like, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting this game. I don't know if it's because of the, oh, because of the realistic cab mod or if it's actually part of J on Jam FM's. I'm guessing it's the realistic cab mod mod that's messing with it. But we got, we powered through the, through the first month of planting pretty fast there. We got... A pile load of leads to go through. Oh, jeez. I almost wonder if I had to get a bigger wave. Because the tractor is still pretty... Tilty yet. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll invest in... We'll just upgrade this weight size here shortly. Get these birds top off a little bit more. There we go. We'll go up to the... We'll go up to the 2,000. 2,000 weight instead of the 1,500. I thought the 1,500 would be more than enough, but it looks like I'm wrong, so we'll just spend a little bit extra money here and get that upgraded. 1,800 extra bucks. That ain't too bad. I just really want the... Gosh, it just seems like it bounces a lot yet. I think the 2000 will be fine for now, but back to what I was saying, I'm surprised we've actually were able to power through planting that fast. I did not, I honestly was not expecting us to. I was expecting us to take a little bit longer, but I suppose when we got the drill and the planter going at the same time, many hands make light work, light work I guess, but I'm really happy with that Kenzie planter. It worked exactly the way I wanted to. The one thing that we'll have to start looking into is investing into a slurry spreader, spreader so we can make use of this fer free fertilizer we're basically getting from these cattle now. They should be fine on grass for a while. I think after we get done get done planting and spraying all everything, we'll probably go around our fields and mow off the borders and get another load of hay ready, so to speak. At least one. Yeah, I think at least one load of hay here. We'll probably leave this one in the barn for a while. I feel like, I'm trying to remember, is it like 600 liters per bale? I think it's like 600. So we got quite a bit of hay on hand yet to keep the cattle fed for a long time, especially for our little herd we got here. Oh yeah, there's no way that we're gonna be struggling for feeding those for quite a while, especially with how many we got. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep plugging away here and I'm trying to think. There's something else I was going to say, but I think we... Oh, so I decided for more role play reasons, we're going to be selling our whiskey on the hush-hush, so to speak. Since we are moonshiners, we can't really necessarily be hauling it straight down the mountainside and selling it to all the all the vendors, so to speak. So we're going we're gonna to be selling it straight from our... straight from our moonshine still to certain certain people and such and who are willing to run it for us. Granted, we're going to take a pretty good size hit on the financial side for doing that, but I th I like that aspect a little bit more because I feel like with as much moonshine we already created, we could make a whole lot of money off it. Just where is our financial section, by the way? So we still, with like 36,000 liters, we still make $25,000 off that. Which is, I don't feel like it's too bad. Granted, like I said, we could easily make a lot more like we did when we first started playing this series. But for the role pay, play aspect, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this way and keep it sort of keep it on a hush hush. I th what I'm thinking right now is I'm gonna want to put up another shed, and I think back here I kind of leave want to leave for to set up a few more bends and such. We need them. I think I kind of want to put it. Right over here in this area, I'm thinking right now. Just kind of leave a little gap so I can get the fuel buggy in here and such and keep filling up the barrel when we need to. Actually, can we even... Okay, we can't even technically cut that tree. We would just be getting rid of it completely, which... Honestly, is not the worst thing in the world type thing. I would hate to deal with all those branches. I wonder if that's how all these trees are going to be. What about you? Okay, so that one, we can chop up and get some lumber out of it. I don't, 
Okay, so that one we can too. So maybe... Maybe it's just this one here that we're not going to be able to do that to. Well, okay, there it is. It's just... When we get down to here, it kind of turns it into an awkward angle where it wants to grind it all down. So I think that's what we'll be working on during the summer. We'll be looking at get, putting up a maybe an actual shop shed, so to speak, so we don't have to use this toolbox as much. Have an actual nice place to work inside and maybe... A little bit wider where we can just store the combine inside. The one thing I still need to invest to is a power washer to get all our equipment cleaned up and such, but we'll get that later on down the road. Like I said, we got a lot of investment that I have in mind right now. Like I want to get a hole type chopper with, with the bagging system and a few chopper boxes. So we have more than enough investments that we got to focus on. It's just trying to figure out where I want to prioritize everything. Like I said, I think we're going to prioritize getting a shop shed put up and we'll probably put it back, like I said, right over there where we got the truck sitting now and in be right next towards the fuel barrel, so to speak. But anyways, this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode, everyone. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all... Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.